Hey Killer Beans, it's Paula B from PaulaBFitness.com and on tap today I've got day 27 of the Weight Loss for Women Over 50 series and today is a great low impact cardio and dumbbell strength Metcon. You guys, there is absolutely no jumping today and no transitions to the ground, but you are going to need a nice moderate pair of dumbbells, which if you don't have a moderate enough pair, make sure that you open up the description box below like I tell you every time we do something with weights and get the exact three pair set that I got from Amazon. You guys, I love these weights. When you're ready for this one, I'm totally ready. Let's go. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. Go ahead and have your dumbbells completely out of the way while we get started with a warm up, which of course is arm circles and high knees. You guys, you have no idea how hard I had to think about which direction I was pointing in because I always have my dumbbells right over here where Miss Agatha is sitting today. She has decided that the couch was not comfortable enough today, but she would rather be down here on the fluffy, fluffy rug. Although to be honest, she is wearing her crazy pants today. I fully expect her to go sprinting out of the room at any moment, you guys. Welcome to the workout. If this is randomly the very first time we've ever worked out together, this is my cat Agatha. You can always tell which one is Agatha because she's very, very fluffy. I have another cat named Rosie. She's very, very smooth. Rosie is also pretty old. She doesn't really sprint anywhere anymore. And these are the warm ups that we do. <laughs> You know, I really love to do the same warm up every single day because it gets me in that place where I can just go right into kind of autopilot mode. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers, speaking of autopilot, and some booty kickers along with it. You guys, oh my gosh, you guys, I have such a great workout for us today. I'm really excited about this one. Now, once again, I use that word Metcon, which just, it means metabolic conditioning and truly what it means is that we're going back and forth between, yes, there's crazy pants. We're going back and forth between cardio and strength. It also means, yeah, there's no rest today. I've got the handy dandy gym boss here set for 30 seconds of cardio. Sorry, totally distracted. My cats, that's, oh, that's Rosie. I don't know if you can see her on camera just yet, but this is Rosie right over here. I think you're going to be able to see her. The cats are now chasing each other. Yay. It's going to be a fun day. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because boy, oh boy, welcome to my home today. You guys, if you are new, just with this series or today specifically or whatever, this is what my workouts are like. There's a lot of chatting. There's a lot of cats. There's a lot of me getting distracted. I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm really trying to work out in a way that you probably are too. I'm getting it done in the middle of my day because, because I want to get it done. So anyways, we're doing cardio for 30 seconds. We're doing strength for a minute. There is no rest. We're taking everything at a moderate pace because moderate is perfect for weight loss. Let's go ahead and get started with cardio. We're doing 30 seconds of goofy jacks, which is a little squat and a big, almost jumping jack. Two more things I have to say about that. When it beeps, we're going to pick up our dumbbells and we're going to do press ups with high knees. Also, just in case you don't know why moderate is best for weight loss, make sure that you open up the description box below and get my 19 page information resource, which is literally everything that I know about losing weight over age 50 or anytime in and around perimenopause or menopause. You guys, when it beeps, like I said, we're going to pick up our dumbbells. We're doing press ups with a high knee, which means that the dumbbells are going to start here on our shoulders as we press up. We're raising one high knee as we come down. That knee comes down. We're going back and forth between our right leg and our left leg. Ooh, but we're doing both arms the whole time. The strength interval is a long interval. It's why I suggested you go with moderate weights. Please, please, please don't try and be a hero. We are not worrying about lifting something super duper heavy. We are not worrying about trying to gain gain a lot of muscle. You might gain some fitness while you are losing weight. You also might not. What we're really gaining truly is patience and a love of exercise and a love for our body. When it beeps again, we're going back to cardio. We're going to do leg twister jacks. And that's the other thing that I was going to mention to you today. Yes, all of our cardio exercises are some form of non-jumping jack. So leg twister jacks, our hands are doing jumping jacks. Our legs are twisting in and out 
and then back in again. Do not worry if you can't follow along. Half the time, I can't follow along. If your hands are moving and your feet are moving, you're doing these perfectly. There is no better way to exercise. When it beeps again, picking up those dumbbells again, and we're doing good mornings. Good mornings are basically a deadlift, except that we have the weights behind our head. So one dumbbell in each hand, you're gonna put your hands up here on your shoulders, you're gonna, let me turn to the side. Your back is super duper straight. Your core is pulled in tight. Your shoulders or your elbows rather are out wide. We're gonna tip forward by pushing our hips back and then we're gonna pull our hips back forward. Now, having your elbows out this wide, totally gonna feel this in your middle and upper back. This is also totally a glute exercise as well as hamstrings. We are working the rear chain. So you're thinking, about squeezing from your butt to push it back and squeezing from your butt to pull it forward. When it beeps again, I've got another non-jumping jumping jack. We're doing kick jacks. Our hands are gonna be doing jumping jacks, but our feet are gonna be doing kicking. There is absolutely no jumping today, you guys. Whoo, doggies. But there is plenty of sweat to be had from both whew, the cardio and the strength. Let's get those dumbbells put away. And here we go with kick jacks. Awesome job. Still thinking about pulling in your core. Still thinking about excellent form, no matter if we're doing cardio or strength. It's truly a matter of when we're moving fast and when we're moving slow. And both of them are plenty intense. So making sure that you're taking this at a pace that works for you. You guys, when it beeps again, of course, we're gonna pick up those dumbbells again. We're doing a curl plus kick. So elbows locked at your waist here. We're going to biceps curl while kicking forward. You could also kick out to the side if you would prefer. Either one is totally fine with me. I started off a little bit fast. Ha, ah, because these biceps curls are relatively easy. This is something that might be problematic for you if you're not used to moderating. And I mean, 27 days in, I feel like you're getting the hang of it, but you might be following along with me or kind of just moving and not thinking about it. Let's think about it. <laughs> Make sure that this pace isn't too fast. We don't want to do too much. I know that's weird. I Trust me, it has taken me a while to embrace the moderation also. When it beeps, we're gonna do half jacks, literally half of a jumping jack at a time. Your right half and then your left half. You guys, moderation, it's such a difficult thing to wrap your brain around. Here we go with a half jack on that side, half jack on the other side. This is 30 seconds, it's a little bit faster, but we're keeping our heart rate at a nice moderate pace, so it might not be a whole lot faster than our strength work. When it beeps again, of course, we're going back to that strength work. We're doing bent over rows with a kickback. That means that we are gonna be working our middle back and our triceps, as well as with that bent over position, our rear chain again. So we're gonna get into basically half of a deadlift position here. We're gonna have our palms facing each other. They're gonna row up to your armpits, squeeze back to your hips, bring those dumbbells back to your armpits and down. We're staying in this half bent over position the entire time. So your booty and your hamstrings are working the entire minute. Your back and your arms get a little bit of a break. When it beeps again, gonna put those dumbbells down. Oh my gosh, and go back to cardio doing rainbow jacks. That's where we're we're gonna run our hands up over the top of our head from side to side like a rainbow. And our feet, actually not really doing much of a jumping or non-jumping jack. You're gonna bring up one knee on one side and the other knee on the other side. You guys, speaking of moderation, which I was quite some time ago, Moderation is hard, right? I mean, I know you feel me on this one. Here we go with rainbow jacks. We have heard the message basically our entire lives that in order to lose weight, we have to do more, we have to go faster, we have to go harder, we have to sweat more, we have to earn the burn, we have to do so much. When it beeps again, we are doing single leg squats. I'm actually gonna leave one dumbbell on the ground right in front of me. Not gonna have dumbbells in my hand because what you're gonna do is actually reach for 
the dumbbell on the ground. This is what I was talking about with Agatha's crazy pants, by the way. So we're gonna have the dumbbell on the ground. Up if you can, mine will not balance that way. I'm gonna start on my left leg and get that one over with. We're going to do a single leg squat while reaching for that dumbbell. And then we're gonna switch sides. I'm not gonna try, I'm not being a hero and doing one whole minute on one side. Doing that single leg squat on the other side. Really thinking about pushing your hips back, 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 back. If you need to have that other toe on the ground, put the other toe on the ground, my friend. There's nothing to be gained from pushing yourself to do something you can't do. And honestly, lots to be lost. Let's think about excellent form so that you do not injure yourself. And you guys, this was the circuit. When it beeps again, we're going back to those goofy jacks, the very first thing in our circuit. And it's only two times through today. You are doing such a good job moving at a pace ah, that you can sustain. I'm still gonna get this out of the way. And here we go again with goofy jacks. So hands are doing jumping jacks, feet are doing a little bit of a squat, and then a nice big kick out to the side. Moderation feels unnatural. I'm just gonna say it. It feels harder than pushing yourself hard while you're doing it. And yet, Hopefully 27 days in, you've started to notice that the rest of your day, let's go ahead and pick up those dumbbells, press ups with high knees. You've started to notice that you actually have enough energy to do other things. Maybe you've started to notice that you're not crabby and sore the next day. Maybe you've started to notice that it's getting easier to speak kindly to yourself. It's getting easier to recognize when you're doing enough, when you're doing the right thing, rather than just pushing, pushing, pushing. My friends, anybody can push. Anybody can push themselves to the brink. It takes a lot of strength of will, strength of character, and just plain strength to do the right thing, to do the moderate thing, to eat the right number of calories consistently, to drink the right amount of water every day, to get a good night's sleep every night, to speak kindly to yourself, to manage your stress. It's amazing. Let's go ahead and put those dumbbells down and here we go with leg twister jacks. It's amazing what moderation can bring you. It's amazing when you start being a little bit patient with yourself, with the process, how much you can get done in 20 minutes of not exhausting work, right? I do hope, I really hope, that you are seeing all kinds of results. 27 days in, here we go with those good mornings. 27 days in, you might legitimately have some results at this point. Hands up here on your shoulders, feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, core pulled in tight, and we're hinging forward because we've pushed our hips back. And then we're hinging back up, we're pushing our hips back up. Your back is straight the entire time. You might not get as low as me, you might get lower than me. Depends on your flexibility and your strength, my friends. Making sure that those elbows are out wide the entire time. That's actually the hard part. Gravity really wants to pull your elbows forward, but your back muscles are keeping your elbows out wide. When it beeps again, we're gonna be done with good mornings for the rest of the day. Good morning to you. <laughs> we're going back to cardio. Coming up next is kick jacks. Our hands are doing jumping jacks. Our feet are doing kicks. If you need to take more of a break in between the reps, please do. Your pace is your pace, my friend. Go ahead and put those dumbbells down and here we are with kick jacks. Nice job. I feel like I'm going a little bit slower actually in round two. This is one of those things that we have talked about. Cardiac drift is real. As you work out longer, your heart rate comes up whether you're doing the same amount of work or more or less. So please moderate your heart rate. When it beeps again, we're doing that curl and kick. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Elbows locked into your waist. Hands pointed, or palms facing out. As we curl, we are kicking. And curl and kick. I gotta slow this down. I did it again. You guys, the curl feels so easy. I'm. I'm capable of curling rather significantly more weight than this, 
but not so much with the other exercises, which is why I went with these weights for this whole workout. You are welcome if you'd like to. I mean, if you've got the, the three pair set that I do, you're welcome to change weights per exercise and do whatever challenges you. I mean, you're always welcome to do whatever challenges you, my friend. When it beeps again, back to cardio. We are doing half jacks, half of your body at a time. Remembering to breathe, remembering to pull in your core, remembering that all of your animals are crazy. Oh my gosh, dumbbells down. And here we go with the half of a jumping jack. I'm so distracted by my cats today, I tell you what. I'm glad we're glad we're making our way through this list with or without them. I actually also hear my dog in the other room doing her little jingle jingle and I hope that she doesn't need to go out because I've got a couple more minutes left here when it beeps again. Doing that bent over row plus the kickback. Really thinking about excellent form with that bent over position. Keeping your core pulled in super, super tight. Feet about hip width apart. Knees are soft but strong. Push your hips back and your torso will naturally bend forward. Pull those arms up, keeping your elbows super close to your waist. Don't let your elbows pop out to the side because then, then you're actually not working your triceps. And I know for a fact that you want to work your triceps, even though it's hard to do so. Y'all tell me this all the time. Here's the thing about doing triceps work. It's hard, they're tiny muscles. They're meant to be helper muscles. They rarely, rarely do any kind of prime moving except with this exact exercise. But because they're not super strong muscles, it's really easy to do exercises like this wrong because we're not used to working them. Make sure that you're feeling this in the back of your arms. When it beeps again, we're gonna do rainbow jacks. Hands swinging up overhead. Go ahead and put those dumbbells down. Swinging up overhead like a rainbow. One knee on one side, one knee on the other side. Oh my goodness, you guys. We've almost made it through my entire list two times. I'm very excited about this. In fact, this is our last cardio. This is our last 30 seconds of low impact, but very good, high, moderate <laughs> intensity. And coming up next, we're gonna do those single leg squats. So I'm gonna have a dumbbell in front of me, just giving me something kind of mentally to aim for. <sighs> Going to think about excellent form. Pull in your core. Push your hips back, back, back as you reach down. Do you have to touch the dumbbell on the ground? Absolutely not. This is a hard exercise. I am under no delusion that this is an easy one. In fact, you would think, you would think that this was the finisher, right? It's not. I do, in fact, have one final thing for us when we're done with this exercise. It is the hardest thing of all, and it is a... It's a single-sided and it's both cardio and strength. So it's the same kind of Metcon that we've been doing. When it beeps, we're going into Drinky Bird Jacks, of course. <laughs> Drinky Bird Jacks, it's a single leg deadlift. And what that means is that one leg is coming up behind you while our hands are doing jumping jacks. Now it is meant to be cardio. I do want you to think about good form though. Drinky Birds are difficult. It's balance work, it's core work. <sighs> And here we go with it. So one leg at a time going back and forth between your right leg and your left leg, thinking about pulling that leg up behind you. When it beeps again, we're going into strength and it is single-sided. My friends, pick a leg, any leg. I'm gonna start with my left leg and I'm gonna get it over with. We're doing Drinky Bird, hold with some flies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have those dumbbells in our hand. We're gonna come down into a drinky bird that we're gonna hold on to as best we can for the entire interval, which means honestly, take your time getting up into it. Pull in your core, straighten your leg. Your knee is soft but strong. Squeeze the glute of the leg that is pulling up behind you. Find your balance. From this position, find something to stare at and we're gonna fly out to the side. Wherever you can get to that does not feel like shrugging, it might mean that your dumbbells are only moving a couple of inches. That's totally okay. If you need to just focus on this drinky bird, don't do the flies. You guys, make the workout work for you. This is tough. It's not meant to be easy. It's meant to be the right amount of challenge. 
when it beeps again, we get to go back. Thank goodness to those drink keeper jacks. I know it's not easier, but after trying to hold on to this thing for so long, I think you're gonna enjoy the cardio aspect of it. <sighs> Making sure that you're breathing. And here we go into cardio. Last time, last drinky bird jacks. Coming up next, it's the very last thing, the very last everything for the day, other than cool down stretching. <laughs> We're gonna do that drinky bird fly on the other side. For me, I saved my right leg, which is allegedly my strong leg, for last. I can almost guarantee that means I'm gonna fall out of almost everything that we do there. You guys, do your best. If balance is not something that comes easily to you, here you go, pull in your core. Find your center, squeeze that glute to pull the leg up behind you. As the leg comes up, your torso naturally tips forward. Back is straight, don't let yourself curl down into this. You should be looking at the floor, probably about four or five feet in front of your toes. That's where your neck is neutral. If you can see your toes in anything other than your peripheral vision, you have probably curled your back. Really think about keeping both hips pointed forward. That might mean that you need to tip your toe down. Everybody points their flying toe out. Thinking about excellent, excellent form for this last interval. Really hold it in your core. Thinking about balance. We are practicing balance, my friends. It, for me, in 10 years of practice, <laughs> has not gotten a lot easier. <laughs> but it has gotten a little bit better. Put those dumbbells down, 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 my friends. <sighs> let's turn the timer off and let's cool down. How good did that feel today? Some arm circles. Who doggies with low tappers. <laughs> That finisher really finished me off. <laughs> you know, if you've been struggling with, oh, I wonder if I'm doing enough, I think today answered that question once and for all. This was enough. This was definitely enough. And even, even if drinky birds are easy for you, even if the whole workout felt easy for you, it was enough, I promise you. My friends, exercising harder it's not the answer. Sometimes it's actually the problem. And wrapping your brain around that is gonna take some time, but once you get it, you can just relax into these workouts and enjoy them for what they are. They're fun, they're a good time, they're a good amount of sweat, and they might make you build muscle, they might make you look a little slimmer, look a little trimmer, feel a little stronger. And they might not, and that's okay. You have the rest of your life after you lose weight to get as strong as you want, to lift the weights as heavy as you want to lift, to do as much cardio. Well, maybe not as much cardio as you want to do. Uh, again, again, got to be careful about doing too much. Let's go ahead and do some nice arm openers. Ah, that nice deep breath. So good. And then arm closers where we give ourselves a big hug. Oh, I'm so proud of you. What a great, great, great job you did today, my friend. Here on screen, I am, of course, going to have a nice extended cool down for you like I always do. If you have the time and inclination, it feels nice to really stretch this out and enjoy a little bit more of bringing that heart rate down before you get on with your day. On the other side of the screen, I have the playlist that will have all 31 of these videos. At the end of the month, you can either pick and choose. You can go through them backwards. You can go through them forwards again. You can, you can do whatever you want. You can rewatch them again and again and again and continue getting weight loss results. My friends, on the bottom of the screen is the letter P. That is an invitation to go over to Patreon where a monthly pledge from you helps me make free workouts for all of us. And thank you so much for your support. On the other side of the screen is a picture of me that's actually a subscribe button. Make sure that you click that and the bell notification so YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. You guys, thank you so much so much for working out with me today. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.